I'm Yuya Takahashi from the University of Tokyo, Japan. My presentation, presentation title is Analytical Study about the Expansion Progress of Concrete Exposed to Combined Alkali Silica Reaction and Freezing Soil Cycles. In the cold region with much snow, concrete structures suffer from freezing soil cycles, FTC, in winter season. And due to the de-icing salt spread in winter season, in summer season, alkalacylic reaction can be accelerated. So in this kind of structures, coupled deterioration of FTC and ASR can be the problem. Now, the question is whether one deterioration can accelerate or mitigate the other deteriorations. One possible discussion point in this combined case is if function of entering air or air bubbles. For example, if air bubble is occupied by SR gel, it cannot work against ice expansion pressure. Including this point, this study investigates the expansion progress of concrete under combined FTC and SR, focusing on the function of entering the air. We use both experimental and analytical approach. First, I'd like to introduce about experimental study by ourselves. Previously, we conducted combined FTC and ASR in different sequences on prism concrete specimens. We prepare six different mixed proportions with three water to cement ratio and two air content. The water to cement ratio is 35, 50, and 60% and air content is 1 and 60%. After four weeks water curing, the half of the specimens were exposed to ASR acceleration, that is 40 degrees Celsius with wet cross wrapping. And another half of the specimen, the, we conducted FTC process. And after 13 weeks of ASR acceleration, we convert to FTC process so the combined ASR and FTC is conducted in this case. And for FTC case as well, so we conduct ASR after this FTC, but I will skip this case in this presentation. We compare these three cases. And for these specimens, the lengths change were measured by dial gauge method. First, I'd like to introduce the expense expansion progresses for single ASR and single FTC case. Here is single ASR case. Horizontal axis is time of ASR acceleration and vertical is expansion strain. And here is air 1% case and here is air 6% case. So there are 35% water to cement ratio, 50% and 60%. If we compare these different WYC, the higher WYC case has the slower expansion. And if we compare these two air content, these results have almost the same trend. Air content has little effect on ASR expansion progress. For single FTC case, the lower WYC has slower expansion progress. And so if we contain much air, this speed, expansion speed was reduced. Higher air content has higher resistance against the FTC. And all these results are almost the same with previous another experiment. The next is the combined case. After this single ASR acceleration period, after 13 weeks, the, this acceler ASR acceleration is converted to freezing soil cycles. And this freezing soil cycle expansion progress was compared with single FTC cases. If we compare these two cases, the right hand side one, ASR and FTC case has rapid expansion progress than single FTC case. It means that preceding ASR can accelerate the succeeding FTC. It might be due to ASR gel intrusion to entering the air and the function of entering the air was lost. These kind of experimental results were tried to be simulated by the developed model. The next is simulation part. We use simulation scheme named DuComCom3 the, that is developed in concrete laboratory in University of Tokyo from 1990s. 
Dukon consists system composed of two subsystems. One is Dukon thermodynamic analytical system for material calculation, and another is COM3 system, so this nonlinear structure analytical system. With inputting the material and structural parameters, we can simulate the life cycle, life span for both material and structural phenomena. The key point of this system is multi scale simulation scheme, and ASR and FTC phenomena is already modeled in this scheme. So with cement hydration, so we can calculate poor structure development. And in this poor structure, the moisture distribution is also calculated. In this, the, based on this kind of poor structures, the multi ionic transport and equilibrium are modeled for alkalicity correction. And also, thermodynamics of ice is formulated for FTC. And the volume of air soldier or incremental volume due to ice formation can be calculated, and this is inputted to the polar mechanical model. And this the calculated expansion can be used for the structural calculation that include time-dependent nonlinear constituted flows. And to discuss about the combined effect and also the the air effect of air bubbles, the effective volume for ASR and FTC should be introduced. First is effective volume of ASR gel for expansion. The, in these calculations, from the total ASR gel volume, so we subtracted the ASR gel absorption into capillary pores and volume of ASR gel absorption into air bubbles. Then the remaining part is the effective volume for ASR gel. ASO expansion. For the ice formations, the volume increment of ice formation capillary pores are the, the basic volume, but the, we subtracted some buffer, the function of air, the 10% of air can be buffered for ice formation. But if that air bubbles occupied by SO gel, this buffer function was lost. Like this kind of equations effective volume of ice formation was calculated. And for this ASR gel absorption to, into air bubbles, time-dependent ASR gel absorption to air bubbles is formulated. The key parameter is this K air coefficient to control the speed of ASR gel intrusion into air bubbles. This with multiplying this pressure of ASR gel, gradually, gradually, the ASR gel was introduced into air bubbles. With this kind of mixed pore pressure model, the experimental results were tried to be simulated. First is single ASR case. So with some the parameter of KL, we try this simulation. First is air 1% case. For air 1% case, we can reproduce. But for air 6% case, we have no expansion. To see the cause of this no expansion, we see the effective volume of ASR gel for expansion. Not only this effective volume, but also total ASR gel volume, this black line, and the volume of uh, absorbed volume to capillary pore or air bubbles, blue line. Here, the black line, total ASR gel volume and absorbed volume is almost the same. Then the effective volume is almost a zero. It means that almost all ASR gel is absorbed into air bubbles or capillary pores. If we reduce this K air value, the behavior can be different. If we reduce K air value, so this absorbed volume is reduced. In contrast, this effective volume can be increased. So, so with different K air value, we can obtain different expansion. And this single air cell case, the enough small K air value can reproduce the reasonable expansion for higher air content. This is single air cell case. Next is single FTC case. For this single FTC case, the input air content is really sensitive, but with inputting proper air content, we can reproduce the single FTC case results as well. 
this is single A only in single FTC. And next is combined case. Here, I would like to focus on the 50% WBC and A6% case. If we see the experimental results, this blue line, the in ASR acceleration period, expansion occurs. And also in FTC period, expansion is accelerated compared to single FTC case. These two features should be reproduced with simulation. So this third feature or expansion progress try to be simulated with different K value. If we use large K values, there is no expansion at preceding ASR period. Here is preceding ASR period, and here is subsequent FTC period with different K air value. For preceding ASR period, enough smaller K air is needed for ASR. But if we reduce K air much smaller, so we don't have no expansion at subsequent FTC period. It means that lower smaller K air value cannot accelerate FTC. So the intermediate K air value should be needed. So in conclusion, if we can control the function of air both for ASR and FTC, we can have the ASR expansion at preceding ASR extreme period. And also we can have the expansion at FTC period. But the, for the better prediction of, for the expansion, uh, pre experiment, further model investigation should be needed. Summary, this is study investigates the process of concrete expansion and the cup production of FTC and SR. And if we control the function of air, both for ASR and FTC, we can the, reasonably calculate the experimental results. But for the quantitative prediction, better predictions, the detailed multiphase behavior should be studied more. Thank you for your kind attention.